Hello again, rubber band with a long, uh, at least for me, awaited upload. So what you have in front of you is the newest collaborative project between myself and Dr. Birdie of the Lockpickers United Discord group. This is the bird box. This is a fully self-contained improvement upon the idea of a, an impressioning light box. And I'm gonna be going over some of its features and tell you essentially why I'm so excited about it. So first things first, uh, this is a 3D printed body with two independent LEDs that are controllable over a self emitted Wi-Fi access point. You can control the color of these independently. So say I wanted to make it all white, I could do that. And then I would just roll over to the second segment, do all white. So you can change those colors. As far as optic enhancements, right now we're just using a jeweler's loop to sit over the top. So we'll have some pretty good picture here. I'm gonna go grab a key blank and uh, show you essentially what it would look like in use. So an impressioning light box is not a novel idea. I didn't come up with this idea. There's some out there made for some government spooks and the like, and uh, there's some that are just insanely hard to get a hold of or have been out of stock for a long time. So here's how it would look like. You're doing your impressioning, you get your marks, you stick it in this slot here. And as you can see, there is very clear optics, even through my phone and everything, you can see these cuts. And depending on the lighting, you can change colors. So I do sometimes like to have some blue lighting. That is a nice contrast lighting. So you can see around the marks and it helps kind of accent bright, shiny brass versus a smudgy, dark impressioning mark. So this is a really cool product for the reasons that you have. Uh, app control over the... Uh, colors in here in this slot you you know it being a 3d printed product you'll be able to do uh, modifications it is sort of in the spirit of being a maker we're going to back this out a little bit so also this is usb-c rechargeable we are with the wave of the future here so this product is I'm, I'm trying to bring more innovation and in R&D into the world of impressioning, especially recreational impressioning. It's out there as a covert ops and, you know, there's light boxes out there. Certainly you have lots of different options. You know, there's, you know, things like lighted magnifiers, um, even other light boxes, but they're hard to get a hold of. And also... Uh, fairly on the cost prohibitive point. This is supposed to be a nice bridge in the gap. So, you know, uh, we do have some plans to kind of contain the optics, but right now we've got the loop and it does work very well. You know, and you know, this all is just press fit. You know, you can see all the guts. Let's like wedge it off here. So, you know, everything's self-contained, press fit, don't have to worry about a whole lot. So, oop, I'm gonna get it back together off screen and just sandwich some wires. It's very hot out here, so things aren't wanting to go together too terribly much. So, um, Anyway, so here's that. Uh, I'm extremely excited about this. I've been waiting for some sort of optical enhancement slash ease of use for impressioning for quite some time. I have three of these. They will be brought to LotCon in the Netherlands, uh, and I will be letting the experienced impressioners there get their hand at it and uh, get some feedback, see what we can do as far as improvements. Double tap to turn off, real simple stuff. 
Um, so, you know, I'll just, uh, show, uh, there's, um, there's very, there's a lot of promise in this and I'm very excited about it. I can't thank Bird enough for collaborating with me on this and seeing what we could do as far as getting, you know, the next thing up. I, you know, I, I came out with the impressioning handle. I, uh, that's not too revolutionary. I just, I'm, I'm trying to make this more popular amongst the Locksport crowd. And the next step up is making marks easier to see. This is the hard part. You know, people can put a key blank in anything and jostle stuff around. But th this is the hard part. And I feel like even with our first attempt, we've made a pretty good jump into it. So, um, these are not for sale yet. Uh, we are going to go through a test phase where I'm going to have some other impressioners' feedbacks, features they like to see, uh, things that we can do to improve, like maybe the body style or anything like that. We're going we're gonna to find out, and that's the cool part. We're going to find out all about it. We're going to get feedback from people who are experienced, you know, people who might, you know, want maybe like an open bay because they're impressioning in a competition format and they want to be able to set it just straight through and not have this slot because when you know seconds are minutes in competition you know and you don't want to have to fumble with this and maybe jar and get jammed on the wall you know there there might be little ticks like that but for now this is going to be great just as it sits for recreational impressioning we're going to get at least one of these out there within the next few months. Uh, please bear with us while we're trying to get this out there. But uh, I, I was just too excited. I got these in today, had a little play with it, and just wanted to show everybody. So uh, as always, I've been Rubber Band. Thanks for watching.